do this to keep narcissists out of your life. You may desire to find people who you think could be your friends. People who you can connect and associate with to where you would have to rummage through to separate what is useful from what is not to find something that could be good for you but you need to be very cautious especially after you've been dealing with a narcissist because now you're in a vulnerable state so someone could come along just to take advantage of you which is why you need to be careful about who you let into your life you need to ensure that you're only letting in people who are on your level people who are honest, straightforward and sincere so that you know that they're not attempting to deceive you because when you get involved with people who are not on your level that's when you start to get caught up in all kinds of things it's when you start to get into trouble because then you're opening yourself up to people who are lesser than you which means that all they're going to do is try to manipulate and control you so that they can use you to their advantage because there's no way that they're going to see a future with you they already know that they're not going to be able to sustain anything long term with someone of a higher caliber so by default they're just going to see you as something that they can use in the moment and then they're going to get rid of you once you start to catch on to them because they already know there's no future in something that started out as a game they had to trick you to be around you in the first place otherwise you never would have crossed paths which is why they can only ever see you as an object as something that they can use so you need to be aware of who you are and what you have it doesn't mean that you have to be alone it just means that you need to find people who are going in the same direction people who have a purpose people who have their own intentions and objectives outside of what they have with you people who are creating things on their own because if they don't have their own purpose and they don't have anything to keep them in check it opens the doors up for them to where they can cross over your boundaries and gain access to your life and then you're forced to accept standards that are lower than what you desire you're forced to lay yourself over to danger and harm after everything you worked for and that you established in your life or after everything that you set out to achieve and now you're surrounded by the wrong people people who don't have your best interests in mind people who can only take and destroy which is why you must stop associating with people who are not on your level because otherwise you will be exposing yourself to the possibility of something unpleasant occurring again which may result in loss or failure because they will pretend to be a part of your goals and aspirations they will pretend to be your friend when they're just using you because they're bored or lonely because they don't have anything else going on in their lives that keeps them in check they have no meaningful purpose they're not motivated or driven to better themselves
which is why you need to stay on top of your game. You need to become a master of your craft because that will help you to surround yourself with the right type of people who are all making great efforts to achieve and obtain what they want in life. Motivational speaker Jim Ron famously said that we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So we are greatly influenced by our friendships and relationships. It affects our way of thinking, our self-esteem and our decisions. Which is why you need to surround yourself with positive, supportive people who want you to succeed. If you want to be better, you need to be around people who are at least on the same level as you. You can't go down and start settling for less than what you deserve. For people who are less than what you value yourself. Because that's not going to make you better. Instead, you need to participate in competitive situations with people who challenge you. You need to be consciously aware of the people you're around and of the people that you choose to let into your life. So that you stay focused on your purpose. Those who surround themselves with a lot of people and they are very active on social media for recreational purposes those tend to be the most unhappiest and unhealthiest people psychologically because they're neglecting their most important relationship which is the relationship we're meant to have with ourselves. So remind yourself of your purpose in life. Remind yourself why you're doing everything that you're doing. What are you striving for? What are you trying to achieve? Reserve some time for self-reflection. It will prevent you from getting involved with people you're not meant to be involved with. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You could book a one on one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.